fresaggio nasce. Milling was used in the early 20th century by Dr. Alfred Steiger from Zurich. Ideato dal Dr. Alfred Steiger di Zurigo. When he produced the first mill detachment, he eliminated the vestibular clasp for aesthetic reasons. Dr. Steiger removed a part of the lingua palatine of the abutment tooth to create the individual milled attachment. As this type of clasp was much more aesthetic, era sicuramente più estetico. Quando he also wanted to activate this attachment so he created a collis where the friction pins soldered to the opposite one on the head would slide and in this way the pins could be activated when the dentures lost their power of retention. Quando il lavoro non teneva più poteva essere mosso quindi reazionato il lavoro. This was Dr. Steiger's milled attachment. Del Dr. Steiger. In seguito, negli anni, è stato anche ideato. Other types of milled attachments were discovered later. The extracoronal attachment, for example, again done with the collis for the friction pins. Sempre con le culisse dove lavorano i perni di frizione. The MP double wing is another type of milled piece with the attachment which is fast and therefore economic to produce. There are no friction pins in this attachment, only two opposite tongues. La parte mobile dello scheletrato. La parte mobile dello scheletrato. We will now take a look at the telescopic method. La telescopia. This involves a telescopic cap with two calluses for the friction pins. Delle culisse, dove anche qui entreranno in funzione i perni di frizione. Let's take a closer look at these different types of milling methods. This is a job done on the dentures combined with a double wing MP milling. Su fresaggio a doppia branca. Fresaggio abbastanza semplice nell'esecuzione. As mentioned before, the milling is quite simple. The part of the framework is cast in a single piece with its counterparts. È una monofusione. Adesso io faccio vedere invece il l'attacco. Now we'll see the extra coronal attachment also created by the dental technician. Inside the counterpart there are two friction pins that are activated when the frame loses its retention power. Della controparte ci sono due perni di frizione azionabili quando lo scheletrato non terrà più. Questi due perni lavorano dentro le proprie culisse. Obviously these pins are in their own colors. We have described the extra coronal attachment. Questo invece è l'attacco di Steiger. Now we'll take a closer look at the Steiger attachment. In this case a double milled attachment is required. Inside you can see the pins that can be activated, soldered to the counterpart only at the head. So they are mobile in the internal part of the counter milling and therefore can be activated, which is the milled Steiger attachment. Sono saldati in testa al controfresaggio, solo in testa al controfresaggio. Nella propria asse interna sono mobili, quindi azionabili. Ecco, questo è l'attacco di Steiger. This, however, is telescopic work. 
that can be dismantled by the dentist. Smontabile dall'odontoiatra. Let's look at a single tooth. Singolo. Su telescopia. Ci sono i. There is a callus in the cap and the friction pins that can be activated in the counter cap, which is also created by the dental technician using our milling units. Azionabili. Ecco. E questa è la telescopia. Sempre fatta con le nostre macchine fresatrici. Questa invece è un overdenture. Now we'll take a look at the overdenture on the milled bars that can be dismantled by the dentist for the purposes of hygiene. Barre fresate smontabili. Le barre fresate sono smontabili solo dal dentista. Ogni volta che il paziente andrà in studio, il dentista Every time the patient goes to the dentist, the mill bars are removed, sanitized and then screwed back onto the abutment elements, whether they are natural teeth or osseointegrated implants. Impianti o denti naturali o moncon naturali. E invece questa è l'overdenture che il paziente tutti i giorni. These are dentures the patient removes for the purposes of hygiene. All'interno Ci sono. Inside there are counterparts with the friction pins that can be activated. And this is the overdenture on the milling. Ecco, adesso facciamo vedere come si costruisce un fresaggio. In questo caso now we'll take a close look at how you can create a double wings MP type milling. Un fresaggio MP a doppia branca, come questo. Ecco, vediamo più da vicino le due branchette. Una, due. La branca mesiale abbiamo detto che è quella azionabile. Quando questo lavoro Let's move in close to the two wings. The mesial wing is the one that will be activated when the work no longer has sufficient retaining power in the patient's mouth. This is how you insert it. Facciamo vedere adesso come si comincia la costruzione di un attacco fresato. Vediamo come si costruisce un attacco a doppia branca. In questo caso Now we'll start working this type of milled attachment. First start to analyze the stump that will be milled, which in this case is the first premolar. Analyze the stumps to find the ideal axis of insertion. Si blocca il piattello con la vite sottostante, ecco questa. Block the plate of the milling unit base where the model stopped using the screw under the plate. In this case we have already modeled the two elements. Now start milling. 